Oh, um, good evening. Welcome to the show. We got a great one tonight. From Entertainment Tonight, Mark Steinus is here and uh, Bob Saget. Stick around. Welcome to my house. Hey, how's everyone doing? Welcome. Good, uh, good evening. It's Monday. We made it. We made it through the weekend. Only there's not as many people here tonight as normal. In the bleachers. In the bleachers in my living room. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Welcome to the show. We're still on the... It's our third week on the air. Hello. My name is Tom Green. Uh, we are on the air. Hello, Houston. Hello, Phoenix. Milwaukee, Kansas City, Las Vegas. Um, I want to start out by saying... Thank you uh, to all of you for tuning into the show. Appreciate you tuning into the show. It's a new show. This is our third week on the air, uh, the beginning of our third week. It's a bit of a, it's a marathon. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> not a sprint. Um, you know, you got to get into the sort of habit of sitting in your living room, right here. I'm in my living room uh, every night and, and talking to some people out there. I'm talking to you every night, and I appreciate it. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. You've been tuning in in record numbers. Uh, more people tuned in at the middle of last week. Can you guys, you guys, you guys, I'm doing a television show here, okay? I know, you, I know you're having a friendly chat about something that's important to you, but I'm trying to talk to the people in Houston and Phoenix here, okay? <laughs> so, anyways, I just wanted to say thank you to our viewers at home. We're having a great time doing the show. I'm excited to be here. Everyone's excited. You guys are excited to be here, obviously. Yeah. So a big thank you to our technical crew, our staff here that comes up to my house every day, working real hard, chatting away, having a good time. <laughs> I wanted to say something about a couple of our local markets, though, first, because we really are proud and happy to be on the air in Houston and uh, happy to be on the air in Phoenix. And something interesting I noticed, did you know that both markets, Phoenix and Houston, they both have houses made out of beer cans? <laughs> This is the Houston Beer Can House. Uh, it's made entirely of beer cans. Uh, it's the late John Milkovich's house. He drank 2,200 beers a year, and the house is in Ripley's Believe It or Not. And what we want to do is we want to ask people in these markets in Houston to go get some video of these places and upload the video to me here at TomGreen.com, and uh, we're going to put it on the show. Also, the Phoenix Mystery Castle. Uh, it was made from recycled beer bottles. It was built in 1930, and uh, you can take a tour of this 8,000-square-foot uh, castle. Credit cards are not accepted. So. <laughs> but uh, we think it would be fun if you out there watching in Phoenix and Houston would go uh, get some video, use the power of the World Wide Web, upload that video onto TomGreen.com. Just go to the DepuTV section on TomGreen.com, and then we'll air that on the show. We want to compare the beer bottle houses in our two, uh, two of our favorite markets. And uh, over the next week, we'll be going and visiting some of our other markets and asking for some people in those towns to do the same thing. But thank you, Houston. Thank you, Phoenix. You know, I've been uh, really, really taking this show really seriously, actually. I, I've been, uh, I've been uh, you know, I, I, sometimes I get exhausted. And uh, what I've been doing is I've actually started working out, uh, exercising, uh, because I want to have energy to, uh, you all right? Good? Okay. I don't, you okay? Uh, so I wanted to uh, start exercising, getting a little more energy for the show. First of all, I'm, uh, before we look at me exercising today, how awesome is it that we have Mark Steinus and Bob Saget here tonight? <laughs> here on the show tonight. Bob Saget. Hilarious. Bob Saget, friend of the show, been here many times on the old internet show. But uh, I was, I, I'm working out. Let's have a look at that real quick. I w I've decided to start working out in Los Angeles. It's, uh, yeah.
up there. I gotta stop working out. Uh, we did that the, yesterday. That was yesterday. Okay, so uh, give us a call. You can call us right now on Skype video. Bob Saget's going to be showing up any second at the front door. I have a feeling he's about to arrive. Where, now, where are you calling from? We have someone on Skype here. Oh, I think Bob's here right now. Peter Coffin is on Skype. How you doing, Peter? Oh, well, Bob just arrived at the door, so we're going to have to talk to Peter. And his video's freezing anyway, so let's get Bob. We'll take a quick commercial break, and then we'll come back, and we'll talk to... Hey, how you doing, Bob? Hey, how you doing, Tom? Awesome. Thanks for coming. Come on in. Yeah, absolutely. Bob Saget is here. How's, How's it going, going, man? Oh, good. Thanks for coming. Oh, absolutely. Thanks awesome. for having me. Yeah, we're just we're just going to uh, we have commercial breaks now. Oh, that's, congratulations, by yeah. the way. I yeah. was here before you had them. I know. We don't have sponsors yet, though. Right. Do you need some? Uh, yes. I have some products in the car. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Can we go back that way. Yeah, absolutely. No, we got to go in now. Moist towels. We'll get really? Like that. I just bashed into like four cars. I feel bad about it. Oh, really? Well, but I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, and we'll get the towelettes. All right. We'll probably need some towelettes. So. That's actually the towelettes are my singing group. Yeah. That's my backups. <laughs> Bob Saget, everybody. Right. We'll be right back after this commercial. Stick around. What the hell is your problem? so much for coming well, you're back friend. to the show. Yeah. I, uh, this is, you have a crew in your home. There's a crew in the home. There's yeah. a man yelling. Yeah, he's, there's a guy yelling now uh, buff, b b in the commercial breaks, yeah. This is literally very strange. I mean, it's, it's really cool. Your house, you gave up your house kind of. Yeah, a lot of the rooms are, yeah. are the show. I've kind of moved into the into the house in the backyard. There was Which a, is a horror movie, I believe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the house in the backyard. Right, it's at 818. Yeah. Uh, yep. But this is... You have a curtain? Yeah, we have a curtain. New you, curtain. You didn't have any of this stuff. Yeah, Bob, now Bob, of course, was nice enough to come and do this show several times over the last uh, year when it was just on the internet. It was on Viewmaster, I believe. It yeah, was, yeah. It was literally slides. It was fun doing it, but no, you yeah. know, it never worked, really. It was, I've never seen anything like it. I enjoyed it. It was like a public access in a way, and you gave me the switcher thing. I was able to switch between cameras. Now there's a man yelling and there's people. There's... Yeah, yeah, it's sort of semi-loosely organized now. It still right. doesn't really work, though, 75% of the time. Like, the technology will break down. There's still problems. But, like, you would get up, but the other time you have pants on now. I mean, you could be wearing anything behind the desk when you did it a year ago. That's true, yeah. I may not have been wearing pants before, but I you did get wear... get floaties on. Yeah, I, I wanted to wear pants tonight, appear a little bit more professional. We're on in Phoenix. I love We're, Phoenix. I've, yeah. I've gone there a lot. Yeah. We're on, tele we're on network television in, in Houston. I thought you said Telemundo. Uh, I think we I are love on Telemundo. Telemundo. <laughs> the, the women on Telemundo are beautiful. Mm -hmm. they, they have that, their eye lines have been removed except for one pencil line. They're yeah. very attractive. I'm not putting them down in any way, but a lot of uh, times, will you talk and change the subject quickly because I'm digging a hole? Well, I, I was enjoying where um, you, I Telemundo wanted to know where you were going. I like Telemundo, too. A lot of guys, there's a lot of men here and, and some lovely ladies as well, But because uh, you've got tons. Of, it's like the audience in Bullwinkle cartoons here. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, we have bleachers now. Your daughters are here. Can I say that? that? No, you can say that. Yeah. No, we'll leave it at that, right? Yeah. They say they're my daughters. Yeah. No, they are my daughters. I appreciate you guys coming. They're yeah, really thanks. cool. Yeah. They're smarter than I will ever be. I was really enjoy enjoyed your uh, HBO special the other night. Thank you. It was fun watching it after you'd come up and done the show a few times. It was really kind of, you know, because we've hung out here for... Ha was that fun to do? It was a lot of fun to do, and I did it at NYU, which was in their... their uh, Steinhardt, uh, not Steinhardt, that's, that's the school there, in their, um, what's Skirball Theater? Yeah, yeah. Skirball is hard to say because, you know, we're on five stations here. You can't, you know. Skirball. When, when I was on the show a year ago, Skirball would be three minutes of material. Yeah. But not here, <laughs> not under these constraints because I'm professional. Yeah, no. But Skirball does sound like you need an antibiotic, doesn't it? Right, no, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe it's someone's name who's very philanthropic who probably donated the building to NYU. It's kind of fun dancing around profanity, though, is it? I that's mean, the name of my other book. Yeah. Dancing Around Profanity. Because it's about Indian worship. It might even be a good thing. <laughs> might even be a good thing, right? For because I mean, you know, when you have the complete freedom, there's a tendency to just 
go and, too far and sometimes? I, or I or? have a belief, and, and you, you're a media guy who's pushed the edge many, many times, I would say, a few times, uh, to my uh, much delight. You know, when you've done the things that you've done, I've followed everything. You know, I'm getting a, a I can say this on the thing, I'm getting a colonoscopy uh, mm -hmm. this week. I'm 51, and you've had your surgery on television. Yeah. You yeah. know, and some people looked at that as the most amazing thing they've ever seen. And then, like, I was, when you asked me about my HBO special, my first response was to apologize that if I could do it tomorrow, I would curse less. That I, that I, you know, drop the, the, the uh, F bomb too much was right. my, my belief now. But I'll probably, I'm doing stand up a lot in March and April in Vegas and stuff, so I'll probably curse more. Right. I don't know if it's possible. Well, I, it, I don't it, think I should. It is fun, though, to see people that aren't aware that you have this sort of darker side. Right. You know, used to seeing you on America's Funniest Videos and things like that. It was like so this. long ago, wasn't it? Well, it was also the biggest show in the world for, for forever. <laughs> I or did something. it for eight years, yeah. too, so I kind of. Uh, so it's fun to see that. I like the reaction there. shots on the HBO show. Like people just kind of, yeah. It's young people yeah, uh, yeah. soiling themselves. Can you say soiling themselves? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. But you, but you came out of the the box, and no, uh, I'm not talking about your family history. I'm saying, <laughs> when you started your comedy, what? Sorry, when yep. you started your comedy, you know, you are always kind of, you know, people were scared when you you did kind of what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. When you started, and I'm telling you what you've already done in your life. But yeah, when people do that, hey, you know, when you did full, I house, just did that to you though. I know, yeah. so I'm doing it back, but 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 not really, because this is very interesting to me because it's organic. It's coming out of you started a show on the web. Uh -huh. And now there's a new frontier, you know, with Kirk and Bones and all the people from Star Trek. But you, you're on net, you're on stations, you're on real yeah. stations. We're real, across real Canada. We're national in Canada right now which on the Canadian huge. Comedy Network, which is like the, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty fun. It's, it's, it's a, and that's what I'm saying is that they expect this from you. This is how you started. You you started in Toronto, right, with a small. Yeah public access -y kind of show which yeah. turned into the Tom Green show on yeah. TV. Yeah, no, it's 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 fun. It's we're having a good time. I'm, I'm turning into Chris Farley when he would go, you know, you're interviewing you, me. You now were with too, the Beatles, right? And yeah. Paul McCartney's like, yes. You know, so that's what I'm doing to you. I'm I'm excited about when Mark Steinus is coming because we didn't have the two guests at once before and, and we can kind of grill him about all the things that are going on in the world of entertainment. There's a lot of stuff going on and it's been at least thirty minutes since I've heard the word Britney. So I think uh, yeah. I have questions. Yeah, no, I mean, we could probably come up with some pretty fun stuff to talk about there with, with Mark Steinus. Heck yeah. yeah. Cool, okay, well, let's, let's go to a quick break. Darn it, with the five, yes, indeed, with those five affiliates. You go, girl. Yeah, he's showing up not for a little while. He'll be back, oh. and he'll be here in about, probably about 20 minutes, but we'll hang out a bit I'm more with Bob Saget. I'm going to skirt around cursing. Talk a bit more with Bob Saget, and Mark Steinus from Entertainment Tonight's showing up. Stick around, we're going to go to our first commercial break. We'll be uh, right back. Second commercial break, yeah. <laughs> Saget is here, and uh, we're just These hanging people. out. People the, in your home. Yeah, we had the guy shouting. What do you do with uh, bathroom maintenance? You've got so many strangers. I mean, I don't l usually like people coming over and using my bathrooms that much. We showed the toilet the other night because I'm quite proud of the toilet. We've got a new toilet. It's, right. Uh, it was a $450 toilet. Why it's, so expensive? Uh, it's got the G Max flush. Oh, which and is, uh, it actually sucks your insides out. Yeah, it, it's incredible. But it also doesn't break and it seems to be able to flush. Doesn't break, you just throw it out when it's full. It just keeps working. Because we were having toilet problems. It's funny that you would ask because we were having toilet problems. Why? Okay. Is it a cesspool or is it regular plumbing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Norm McDonald's coming tomorrow night. We were just talking dear, about Norm. Your friend. Your friend of Norm's, right? I love Norm. I directed uh, his movie uh, Dirty Work. Yeah, that was probably one of the all time. Uh, Sort of most shocking. Appear that was dirty work, right? When you uh, Dur no, that was a half baked. But I did the cameo in half baked, which was only thirty seconds of screen time, where I said something horrible, yeah. which all the kids right now are excited about. And oh, want yeah. me to say it. I'm realizing as I as I brought it up, I probably shouldn't have brought well, it up. Well, you can, because I talk code. <laughs> I mean, I've kind of said it. Okay, we have someone call in on Skype. Let's take a Skype call. You can call in on Skype on the World Wide uh, Web. Hey, Frank, how you doing? You're on with Bob Saget right now. You have a question? Hey, Frank. Yeah, hey, how's it going, Bob? I'm good. Why are you talking into your rectal thermometer? <laughs> uh, I'm I don't sorry. Know, that's the only thing I had. I, I understand. That's what I was doing this morning, so I apologize. <laughs> hey, when are you going to come up with our stand up? That was hilarious, your last stand up that you had. Thank you, man. I, I'm actually going out now this next, next 
month and a half, I'm just trying to write some new stuff, which is, which is I call it writing, and uh, but it's on doing stand up and trying to come up with things that are different than the other stuff I've done. And uh, I'm going to do Vegas, the uh, Hard Rock, and I'll be doing some theaters and stuff. You can see it on. Uh, my thing, whatever, would promote me. So you're writing a new new thing. You're going to go I'm on tour? I'm trying or? to. Yeah, I'm, I got a tour of uh, March, April, May. I'm doing some dates. Like, you know, like like about seven or eight theaters in uh, Vegas and uh, Atlantic City. Things that are a couple of casinos and fun fun gigs, like the Hard Rock, the Joint, you know? That's yeah. like fun stuff. Is that more fun than doing television or no, just different? I, or? Actually, I just did something which some people uh, slap the back of my head and call me all Fruity Pebbles, but I had the best experience I've had. I, did, I just got off Broadway. Not got off. That doesn't sound right. Again, there's five affiliates that we have to honor here. <laughs> but I was uh, on Broadway, not the street, but I was on this show, this... The Drowsy Chaperone. Oh, okay. I did it for uh, a few months, and it was one of the best experiences uh, of my life. So I was acting, and I was uh, all... Uh, oh, really? What, what, what were you doing there? What was that? I was playing a guy. Uh, I was uh, kind of like a full house thing, because I was in a, a, a cardigan sweater once again. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, but I played a guy who was kind of agoraphobic and sat in his apartment, and I had an LP that I listened to and, and play it for the uh, audience, and then the play comes out of the walls. He's kind of uh, sadly nuts, and it was written by, and, and, but he's kind of everyman too. It's a, a beautiful show, and it was, won five Tony Awards and stuff, so had, Bob Martin wrote this thing. Had and, you done uh, theater like that before? I did and, um, yeah. Theater of the Absurd with puppets in, in my house. <laughs> no, uh, I did, um, about three years ago, I did a play called Privilege that Paul Weitz wrote. I did it off-Broadway. But it was in a theater. <laughs> but uh, and then, you know, it's good when you're the only person laughing. Well, you know, this, your thing. I'm, la I'm laughing. You're away. always yeah. uh, incredibly no, but you ever, you, Are we you being ever... rude to them? To, to no, him? no, no, uh, no, no. He's no. Skyping no, him. No, he's over just there. hanging out with us. Yeah. All right, you're you're cool just to hang, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> did you? Did, but thank you for the uh, the props on my stand up, and I'll be getting out doing it more. Where are you? What city? Holborn, Indiana. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. it's got a weird. What's that in the Pu background? What's that puppet yeah. back there? Looks like a, uh, a it, yield sign that had some uh, fertility issues. <laughs> they always do these. The thing in the back of you. What? What is uh, that thing? It's a uh, Washington Green Subway Market Yard. Oh, okay. Cool. It looked like Shrek a little, but. Well, we have a new phone it's, system uh, too. Look, there's people. He hey, hello, you're on the telephone. Hello. Hey, how are you? You're here with Bob Saget. See, this is a new phone system. This sounds like it's actually working tonight, too, which is good. Cause it... How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. The sound, it sounds pretty good. The sound is good, yeah. So the sound I is good. I cannot believe that I'm on he's, the line he, here with feeling... Bob Saget and Tom Green. Yeah, hey, and uh, what was his name again? Uh, Frank. Frank. I'm sorry, Frank. I didn't mean to make you feel dissed. <laughs> where, where are you calling from on the phone? Man, I'm calling from Campbell, Missouri. It's the Boot Hill. Okay. Oh, okay. Very edge down there in Missouri. The Boot Hill. The Boot Hill. Wow. What, what were you up to today out there in Missouri? Um, just listening to the show, guys. Listening to my heroes right here. Glad I could get in. Wow. Yeah, nice people. That's really nice. It's probably the nicest call we've ever had here. <laughs> that actually, I think that is. Yeah. Do you have a? Do you have a? Uh, want to ask Bob a question? Yeah, or? I wanted to ask Bob. Did he bring his guitar tonight? No, I didn't. But but uh, and if I did, I would sing. Did you ever know that you're my hero? <laughs> Because you are the wind beneath my wings, right? Yeah, you sang last time. We have a guitar here. We can always break it out later. I could break it out later. Play Tom. We'll do something. We'll break it down. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's in tune, but you're quite the musician. Pro right? I'm horrible. I no, like no. this stuff. It's this probably is good not in stuff. tune, but uh... I don't think it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't gonna happen on this show. I'll tune it during the break. Yeah, I'll, that that'll be good, and then okay. we'll come back, and then I'll uh, I'll smash it over the desk. <laughs> but Tom plays guitar well, you know. Yeah, he does. He does. He's my hero. I'm better than Tom at the guitar. He's funnier than I am. I'm sorry? I don't know. It's the phone. Uh-oh. Cool. He's very nice, by the way. Do you ever... Like, well, so I want to, the Frank, when you're the doing Scott the theater, <laughs> I want to ask you a question, and then when you start talking to everybody. I know. Do you ever, like, forget your line, and then you don't know how to get back to the... That's what I would... I've never done That's funny that you anything like that. that on stage before, but you would think that because there's a sort of an order to the script, and then if you forget your line, yeah. and then... How do you get back to the right place? In my stand-up, I work free form, you know, and I try to get back to it. Yeah. And I kind of get there sometimes and it works. But in a play where there's a script. I had to honor the play because it was such a well-written play. Yeah. And so one day, it was the opening week, like the first couple days. I only had two weeks to learn it. And mm -hmm. it was the main character in the show. He t he's on stage the whole time, except he does take a pee break in the middle, uh -huh. which is true. Uh, but um, uh, Which I, I know people want to know that. But I'm on stage, <laughs> and I forgot my line completely. You know, it's called going up. And... Uh, 
I'm on stage and uh, there's 17 people frozen waiting for me to get through this monologue. Right. And uh, I go, you know, uh, that line's supposed to be, an arrow doesn't come through the sky and just uh, and, and point to the one you're supposed to be with. That's the line. And I am talking to the audience. And I go, an arrow doesn't just come through the, from the sky and just, you know, go through an apple. And then, <laughs> I like William Teld it or something, and then go through your heart because there's someone out there for everyone because... And then one day you say it to someone, I got back on track. But uh -huh. I was like, I get on an off ramp and go into like a hard. You just feel like this fear inside? A, a, incredible fear, but then it's completely compensated by my stand up and acting tools, which just tell you just th that it's all fine. Right. So there's no, pa the panic goes away, and then somehow you get back on road. And right. it's, uh, it's a scary, it is a scary thing, because it's, it's everyone's nightmare to get out there and not know what to do. Uh -huh. It's like the old uh, Jackie Gleason thing. Well, even Core and Apple, where they uh, freeze up on camera. Yeah, yeah, no, that would've so, been, I would have liked to have seen that. That would be cool. You, I, I might do it again, and I'll do it here tonight, after I'm done tuning the guitar. <laughs> I'm gonna act out the whole show. Cool, okay, great. I hope great. that's cool. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to another commercial break. We'll be back with uh, Bob Saget. Mark Steinis is showing up. We're gonna talk. He's the nicest guy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're gonna talk entertainment. Um, entertainment. Nothing more right? entertaining than that. Yeah. People want to talk about entertainment. I okay. do. Stick around. Okay. I don't know as much about football as I should, but Mark Stein has had a football scholarship. Thought maybe we could go toss the pig skin around on the deck at the end of the show, maybe. I'd love that. Like I'd the, love to go up on the roof and then yeah. go out for it. Yeah, no, we could. I got a helmet and everything. I'd love to go wide. <laughs> <laughs> we're, oh, wait, we're back. We're back on the air. Uh, Bob Saget's here. We have uh, Paul, is your name? Yep. Paul Fender calling in from the United Kingdom. You have a question for Bob Saget. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, Bob kept in touch with anyone from Full House still. Yes, actually, uh, uh, much too much, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's a little frightening. Uh, Stamos came to see me do the play a lot because he's very uh, fruity for me. And, uh, and Dave Coulier and I are dear friends. Dave's got a new website where he's doing the clean guys of comedy. Uh -huh. Dave Coulier. Oh, okay, yeah. He's French-Canadian. Is he really? Yes. Oh, he's oh. French to Canadian. I'm sorry, I got confused. <laughs> no, he's, he, was, he was from uh, near Detroit, up near the Windsor. Oh, okay. Cool. So, um, and uh, and uh, uh, Lori Lachlan and I talk, and uh, Ashley Mary Kate, I saw just recently in New York City. So we all uh, hang out. I think I read about that in the tabloids. There was a little bit of uh, some coverage. You know, yeah. it's a big, big story. Yeah. If I, if I go out with someone I worked with, that means I, I was saw it on the internet or something, yeah, on TMZ it, or something Yeah, it was like huge. That. It was gigantic. What's that like? You go, to, you go meet Mary-Kate well, and Ashley, yeah, and then went, all of a sudden it's on TMZ. Is that I know. weird? Or? I, I just actually, one TMZ guy was like, hey, what are you doing? And I went, oh, he was just kind of nasty. So I said, how's your mom? I looked right into the camera and said, how's your grandma? Which isn't nice. I shouldn't have done that. And he said, you get that car with the full house money? And I went, uh, yeah, and I took your grandma around and then <laughs> took her out. <laughs> I was talking about his grandma. I mean, right. what's the big deal? She Is that probably... weird? You're walking down the street now. Has Los Angeles changed since this whole sort of Webo vision kind of cameras on the street all the time? I think there's a lot more than we care for. You know, with people, you know, if somebody knows you, they, you know, want to photograph you. It's a compliment, actually, that anybody gives a crap. You know, normally people... You know, if they, oh, people complain that, you know, they're being, if you're in a high-speed chase, I would think it's, it's a problem. But, right. you know, I had it, somebody follow me the other day with a camera, and my daughter thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Right. Um, so I sat there, and the guy took, like, major photos of me. He, I, I let him do a whole portrait shoot. <laughs> I, put on, I put on suspenders and little, little shorts and a Mason Reese wig. Yeah, cool. But, um, but I don't know. That was a guy that was in shows or commercials years ago. Mason Reese. Do you yeah. remember Mason Reese? I don't, know. Wait, because you're younger than me. Yeah. I'm getting a I got distracted. I was week. looking for Paul, and Paul was gone. Yeah, he was from uh, England too, which was very nice. Which means that, and they saw Full House on the the Sky One, which was their big uh, station. Yeah, I like England a lot. Did they they get America's Funniest Videos over there in England too? They must they, have, right? they have it on television, but they don't get it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they they uh, what's to get? It's people get hit in the crotch. So I I don't know if they. Um, I, I I think so. Yeah, that that show with me on it traveled the world. I know we've talked about this before when you've been yeah. here, but. 
new new people watching in Houston. Right. Hello, everybody. That must yeah, that Houston. was a, that was sort of a precursor to YouTube, really. It was a pre and I was a precursor, and then I got on TV and I couldn't curse anymore. <laughs> but but way, but really, way ahead of its time. People the, sending in videos, uploading videos. Correct. It would be can amazing. candid camera was kind of the beginning of that. And then there were other blooper shows, but America's Funny Some Videos. When that thing started, people went. I had friends call me and go, "What what is this? This is amazing." And it was it was all YouTube in form. It be created its own kind of medium, comedy medium. People just seeing people like themselves doing regular things. That all started when home video cameras came out and stuff like that, I and, guess. Oh. It's Mark Steinus. That is so cool that he's at the door and yeah. we're going to talk entertainment. Yeah, let's talk entertainment. Let's okay. get Mark Steinus. Okay. All right. So, well, I'll, I'll stay here where it's, yeah. where it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mark, how you doing? Tom, good to see you. Good yep. to see you. Thanks, man. Come on in. Sure. <laughs> Mark, Mark Steinus, entertainment tonight is here. How you doing, Mark? Good to see you. Good to see what you. What are you feeding your plants? They look fabulous. I know. Thank you. It's good. It's good. Uh, good. good. Tom, can in. we go in? Yeah, good. we're on the air. Bob's oh. here. And oh, Bob's hey. here. Bob Saget's oh, here. And we're hanging out. He looks fantastic. You know. No, no, he, that's not Bob. I, t I, t I took that picture, though. Did you? I did, yeah. That's Some awesome. old guy I took a picture Ooh, of. This is my show. Now. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Hey! hey. Sorry. Sorry. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I walked too far. I brought the. I got a football, too. Did you? All right. Yeah. A little football. A little football. Maybe at the end of the show, the you know, we could throw it around a little bit. Yeah, throw it around. Well, you have a yard out there. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Just go deep. Go out in the then... deck or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. You play professionally? No, no. I you had a scholarship in but, yeah. college, right? <laughs> I did. I play, yes, I played in college, and uh, I actually played where Kurt Warner played, right? You know Kurt Warner? No. No. Don't know Kurt, don't know Kurt Warner? Super Bowl MVP? Oh, yeah. Oh, Rams. He was Super over this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, do. I do know who he is. I, I, anyway. I, I'm, yeah. I wanted to learn, maybe know a little bit more about football. I need to learn more about football. This is what I know about football, okay? Okay. Because I, I'm Canadian, right? So I grew up playing hockey. Oh, but now I know right. that the, the Pats are... Uh, the Pats are doing good. It's like right. they're on a streak right now, yeah, right? right? That's, they're gonna, that's, they haven't, there hasn't been a streak like this since, like, the 72 Dolphins, right? <laughs> wow. Right? You Is that just true? Made that up, right? And that uh, right. Romo, uh, Romo got messed up because of exactly. Jessica Simpson, right? Right. <laughs> exactly. That's where I come in. Yeah, yeah. Q Mark. <laughs> Is that was that a big entertainment meets football moment? It was. Me? It was worlds colliding for me, Jerry. It was just all of a sudden things got confusing, and I'm like, football, but. But Jessica Simpson and why she's screwing this up for the Cowboys and yeah and uh, Tony uh, Roma who has that uh, the 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 rib franchise too right Is that <laughs> yes he, he, he does she, have she also he was, um, well that's pig skin that's yeah. different <laughs> Is that what you, don't mind me you guys just go on ahead what's the biggest story in entertainment Bob and I were just talking about you know. Well, do you want to go what's the pop biggest culture, story or right do you want to do industry because there's a difference okay. There's the industry, which is the strike, which we're all suffering through and, and hoping it, and, uh, it is right. resolved soon. Yeah. My writers are just not pulling me through on this one. Yeah. The As other... you can see, I don't have writers here. <laughs> it's pretty obvious at this point. But By the way, the room is not green. I sat back there and waited, it for, waited for it to turn green. And it just but there's would... a stuffed bear in there. There is a stuffed bear in <laughs> yeah. there. Which is make, <laughs> will make you green because it's odd. The other story, you, you want to take a guess what the pop culture story of the year is so far? Yeah, yeah, the, and the, the one would, of the year, yeah. we'll have to really explore that and talk about yeah. that. Our viewers want to want to hear yeah, it's the Brittany, details. And of it. it is so bizarre to, to what is it, sorry, Brittany? It is so bizarre to you don't know who that is. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brittany <laughs> to see the to uh, looking at it from so many different perspectives. It's like what we went through with Anna Nicole for a long time, mm -hmm. and how it this thing, the story just kept feeding on itself and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I think that's what's happening with Brittany right now. Yeah, bigger than Anna Nicole. Because you were really no. involved with that. You yeah. were down in the Bahamas and... and uh... Uh, yeah, I spoke with her actually just 10 days before she passed, which was really uh, kind of a surreal thing for me to, to um, hear that story break and just realize I'd just gotten back from, from there. But I don't think... Brittany's not at that level yet because the tragic nature of the story hasn't really hit yet other than her losing custody of her kids. But um, Well, that's... that. My yeah. question to you is, do you think... And I, I kind of been talking about this with friends of mine that the the media and and all of us uh, uh, become the other relationship for these people and so they kind of require to have this drama because it's so the, tragic that she doesn't I mean we're even talking about it it's tragic right because right. It, you know we talk about her kids that is the main tragedy but do you think that we enable those people you know who uh, are the screaming on, for help I but. think on some sense I think they you lose touch 
Um, I know both of you have gone through the, the spotlight more than I have, and I hope I never do go to that point, but you all of a sudden realize... What have I gone through? Do you remember? <laughs> I don't okay, remember. Wait, we got to take, take a quick break. We're going to take a quick break. break. <laughs> we'll come back and Boy, we'll this explore is <laughs> the world of the biggest story of the year. Uh, stick around. I need to be take serious a for cool. a second. Here's Mark Stein at the top seconds. <laughs> Hey, we're back. Uh, was it one hand on the one hand on the keyboard, keyboard yeah. and the other with a some bologna sandwich? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. It was your hand you were playing with. Yeah, yeah, well, pretty much. Yeah. Well, oh, we're back. Okay, so Bob Saget, Mark Steinus is well, here. Because we're talking weird. about the biggest story in entertainment of the year. Yes, really yeah. is the biggest of the year. Uh, it is. I mean, I, you know, following. I think everybody is so intrigued with what is going on with. Let's call her BS. Okay, just use the initials because I think so many. Yes. Um, no, same initials, yeah. for, for Brittany, because I think we're waiting to see, I think a lot of people are hoping for a happy ending. Wouldn't it be great? Um, but when you I don't say know that, oh, me, you way. mean a happy ending, you're not talking like, you know, <laughs> lunchtime downtown. Yeah. You're saying, <laughs> right. Okay. We're on, we're on, yeah. I but got confused. <laughs> you invited him on. I just it's want you affiliate. to know that I, yeah. I yeah. haven't said anything because please talk. <laughs> But I mean, I've it, got but, nothing. I've got nothing. Is it is it uh, are, is it like looking at uh, is it Schadenfreude? Is that what it is? Schadenfreude. <laughs> we were talking about this the other night. Fear, uh, uh, happiness from other people's failures. Is this what it is? Or? No, I don't think it's that. I think it's. I think everybody's waiting to see the end. Not the end in a bad way, but like, where's this going? Right. I mean, can you really be this nocturnal and go out till six a.m. every single night, drive around town? use up all of America's gasoline that we have stored up somewhere, mm -hmm. go to every gas station in town, and just do this every night after night. Well, I mean, where's it going? Have, that's a problem we have with the, our it? society. I mean, that's what people, and I've been a nighttime creature before. I mean, I'm a comic, and I've been a right. late night person and stuff, but it, it does, and it, it leads to not getting anything done and, yeah. and rotting yourself, and uh, I'd like to see her uh, come out of it. Yeah. Could you see uh, that happening with, <clears throat> with Anna and Nicole? You were pretty much in, the, the, the main reporter on the yeah. scene for that, right? You went to the Bahamas, you were there, you were... Yeah, and we're approaching the one-year anniversary of that as well, which of course is going to stir up a lot of, uh, I think, a lot of press as well. Um, I didn't see that coming. I knew that she was dealing with great depression. You know, when we talked on camera and off, she had dreams about Daniel. When she would sleep, he would come to her in her dreams and things like that. Um, it was it was very tough. I mean, the loss of her son, who she was extremely close to, and Danny Lynn hadn't matured enough, I think, in her life where she can, was connected to to that baby. So she kind of, and as you know, as time went, I saw her go deeper and deeper into that. Is it is it uh, surreal to be now covering her daughter growing up? And all, I mean, yeah. is that, uh, it must be almost sort of a new thing. You wouldn't have seen yeah. that in the media. What fifty years ago? No, probably, and 40, I, yeah. you know, in in kind of a weird way, as a journalist, I hope that I still have legs by the time she's old enough to sit down and talk with her, and not necessarily an on-camera interview, but to be able to discuss with her what uh, my experiences were with her with her mom, because I I knew her mom for many many years, as a you know uh, professionally speaking, and to be able to share some insight with her. Yeah, I'm sure there's many jo other journalists who know that, but. This is such a light topic. Yeah. Well, we're, in, we're in a different We have the world. same shoes, by the way. Well, it's not yeah. often we, we have no Mark yeah, Steinus from Entertainment well, okay. Tonight I, here. You know, right. you, this is, you I just know, want to bring your we show down because well, I know cool. how can, fun you are. I think and well, people we find don't. it interesting. I mean, yeah. we, we are obsessed with this. And, our, you know, you turn on <laughs> CNN and it's, a, it's some of our, our presidential candidates or, or the, a couple of game scores, but it's really celebrity. We're, we're, yeah. I mean, some people are upset by it all but yet we watch it and are we, we borderline it. oversaturated though because I know as as I report this day in and day out I sit back and I go okay where's the threshold here when does it begin to begin to be too much yeah. and now I'm doing it every day there are people who tune in our show and tune out and miss some nights out of the week so they're like not getting the full dose of it but um, I am and there are times I just question whether or not is it it's ratings more driven we, is it there must be some pressure well, to I talk think everything about it. is, is this going to be this will be our highest rated show mm. ever because we're talking about it I'm sure I think that's I think that's the case <laughs> let's keep talking about uh, it yeah. uh, 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 no I, really, I think look everything today is ratings driven I'm, even the evening news is changing looking for better ways to capture an audience and keep them in front of the set but uh, the, I think this this is so innovative and fresh and new because we're finding a different uh, avenue to reach people, and I think I think you know, 
I just want to give you the round of applause. Well, for, for how, how's the house now? TMZ, this stuff. Perez Hilton, the yeah. Perez was here last week. Mm -hmm. Has that affected entertainment tonight? You've got mm -hmm. a competition from the internet now and tabloid well, we, uh, type journalism going on on the I, internet. I've been with ET 13 years now, and we st when I started. When you say you've been there. with ET, do you mean the creature from yes. another world? <laughs> yes, no, that was me. Been I with think. Him? <laughs> you know what's good about him? If you're, if you're, what? sidebar for a second, Bob's going to talk. Uh, I don't know. I, I, Sorry. Why did I bring that up? No, no, go back to that. I apologize. <laughs> but if you're spooning, let me just ask this. It's off topic. Yeah. But if you're spooning with ET, right. he's got a large head. It's very hard for him to turn around and look back at you and say, don't you quit me. He can't say, don't you quit he me. He does because, it with the finger. Oh, and, he, and then he puts he it right does here. That, and he uh, says, I'll be right here. <laughs> okay. That's, you know what he's saying. Uh, okay, let's take a commercial break. We'll what be do you back. Mean? Please, take dude, our, please. We'll take be it. back. Mark Steinis, Bob Saget is here. Thanks for coming, guys. And we're going to throw the, we'll throw the, I brought a football. You know what I I got my helmet. Right. Right. I'm gonna go toss. That's we'll be the, back in a second. Gotta can't be too careful. That's right. the ball. Mark Steinis, Bob Saget. Uh, it's Monday night. Thanks for coming. It is Monday. So we, yeah. we, we you can you can show me how to throw a football in a minute. Tonight. I oh, was supposed darn, to watch they're in the, the house alone. alone. They're alone. Yes, we'll throw a football around. Yeah. Throw. Now, what, what what position did you play? I was several. I was an all-state fullback. And then uh, when I got to college, I was moved to linebacker, outside linebacker. And, and who's who's supposed to win the, the Super Bowl then this year? Is it going to be the, the Patriots? Is that uh, well, depends on who your faith, your team is. But I think the Patriots are going to do it. But I'm pulling for the for the Giants. Yeah. I just have to. Yeah. I, yeah. I think I, I really I mean Brady and his guys are so polished. I think they're going to do it. But I got to pull for the the Giants, I yeah. just have to. It was interesting, you know, this is one we went to commercial, but we just kept talking all through the yeah. commercial break. I almost we wish do. we could yeah, keep we, rolling. Yeah. I was talking too, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, it was great when you and I were talking, Mark, and Bob was just sitting there like Rain Man, just staring at us. No, oh, you're going to play football. I like oh, it. Oh, when... football. Mark and Tom play football. And no, I'm just gonna... like the special no, guy No, you can on come out and throw, <laughs> throw the football around I'll, with us, I'll, too. I'll, I was uh, mm. asking what position I was. Uh, I'm afraid to. No, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> really, do, do, do what not. What position were you? I was, I was actually a hatchback. I would take people's stuff yeah. from the locker room back to the, the man's building. Right. <laughs> you asked. The man, the man okay. was nice to me. So wait, what other stories? Uh, let's go. Let's go quick because this is our okay. last segment. What okay. other stories here? Big stories. Big stories. Britney Spears. Come, okay. Anna right. Nicole Smith. Right. So, are other stories in well, entertainment? I mean, uh, Harry Potter is that big? <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's that. The thing, you know, one thing that I always have talked about behind the scenes, the, a lot of the paparazzi stuff is invited into their world, right? So, like for example, Lindsay, when when she was arrested and taken in and booked, and she got out of the out of Santa Monica Police Station without a, a photograph and then went completely underground and she's doing such a good job now she pops up every now and then but you can uninvite this into your lives. Do you know how you do it? Air vents. I've seen a lot of movies like <laughs> you go through the heating vents and you can get out. Can I saw that. it in a Brad Pitt movie. It was great. <laughs> I heard that's your exit tonight actually. That's how I'm getting out through the air so vents. I'm actually going to chop myself up and go down the new toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you got a great new toilet here. Do you really? Oh, it's great. Wait, do you, think, can you, do you think anybody has been trying to get arrested? Do people try to get arrested? Arrested? Is it ever on purpose? People say oh, I, I can't get arrested in this town. <laughs> yeah. You can. Yeah. You really can. Sorry. Is it? <laughs> Do I need to be here? It might for be this? good. No, it I'm might sorry. be good, right? It's good for uh, probably a well, show business so. career. You know what I think more, a DUI is a good thing. Moreover than getting arrested, I think, is you make yourself a really good sex tape and you leak it out there and, and it gets out that way. How do you define a good sex tape, though? I mean, is it good for you or good for the viewer? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, both, I think, as right. your goal is, right? I think so. Right? I think you get it on a loop and you play it in your home for your family. <laughs> you probably have cameras everywhere in this house, don't you? Uh, well, you know, this room's pretty well covered. This is but, room's uh, covered. Okay, yeah. just want yeah. to make sure. Um, no, I mean, other stories? Something, look, I mean, you got the writer's strike. We want to get the town back going again. Yeah. Oscar nominations are early AM. I'll be up at that. We've got, um, uh, what else do we have? What else do we have coming up on the show tonight? Is it fun getting there's to meet all... There's a lot going on. There's getting a, to meet a, all these uh, yeah. celebrities. I mean, since, yeah. since when you started doing this, all of a sudden you're interviewing yeah. you know, Stallone. And some, yeah. How long have you been doing this? 13 years. Wow. 13 years, yeah. Did you start with E.T.? 
I started in entertainment, yeah, with ET, but I was a sportscaster before that, many years before that, and I was a cameraman. My first thing, what I wanted to do originally was direct music videos, but that's when Thriller was out and everybody was jumping on board going, wow, that's Bob, the most Bob started thing. as a director himself. Yeah. yeah, I did. I made a, a student film. I actually started when I was nine years old because I had no friends. Really? <laughs> yeah, and then I made a, a movie. I won the Student Academy Award, actually, when I was 21, a, a documentary. And did then you have friends then? I, I did have a couple. Did I you? Would, yeah, I made. I put friends in movies. We got right. one minute. All right. <coughs> want to go? Let's he, do he, it. I want to see him throw. And Let's all walk oh. outside. We got Let's, one minute. Go Let's one break. Minute. I want to see him throw. <laughs> throw. I'm going to put the helmet on. All right. All right. Just. Uh, we'll and, see. Uh, you know the the big reason I really want to do this is because it's just fun to to walk. Well, I think it's outside. You look, you know? It's good to see your this property. Is, yeah. This yeah. is awesome. Yeah, you're looking at this. This is his property. Yeah, it's like a pool table. What I. You know what. Bob, if you see, okay, you, you want to play keep away. You see I'll the hotel. See the hotel. Yeah. Go down, take a right, <laughs> and go up to the hillside. Okay? All right. <laughs> see, see. Careful, don't slip. Swim this is really you have a wet. This back. is this is wet. You can't okay. say that on local affiliates. Me, here we are. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Ain't not bad. All right. All right. Okay, no, I, I, I want to know how to get a spin on it. That's the. Well, you, it's, you got to kind of. It's, it's, it's all. Slippery. It's a whole body motion. Well, that's kind of a spin. Show yeah. how it's done. All right. Here it is. So to get a spin, you hold it right in here. Uh huh. And then you. Oh, awesome. that, that This is was fun. Not a spin. I'm that good. Well, we're a having spin. a good time here. We're uh, hanging out with Mark Steinus, Bob Saget. It's been a uh, nice having you into the home here tonight. We're throwing 15 feet to yeah. each other <laughs> <laughs> on a slippery wooden deck. Yeah, yeah. This is how it's done. Yeah, yeah. I really got to <laughs> get a yard, I guess. Wow. Well, there we go. Look at there. We'll okay, spin it. Cool. We'll, we'll be and right. We'll we're going to sing the dreidel song now. <laughs> I thought it might be fun to dust it around. Oh, I, apparently, oh it wasn't. It wasn't a good. Yeah. yeah. No, Sorry. it was good. Tackle. We'll me. be back after this commercial. Stick <laughs> around. Forget Thanks, the Justin. ball. I'm yeah. tackle. Just tackle me. Uh, that's it. What a great way to kick off a week. Bob Saget, it's Mark fun. Steinis. Thanks I'd for coming love by, this. guys. It's you're, so homey here. Yeah, no, it's really. Great. No, you're, no, no, you're hosting like, uh, wait, Miss America in Las Vegas yes. on TLC January 26th. I'm married to Miss America and I'm hosting the Miss America pageant. Oh, yeah. Isn't that awesome? oh wow. It's like Isn't tag that crazy? team. It is. It is. <laughs> that's cool. That's going to be fun. Come over to the house. <laughs> I'll let you wear the crown. Yeah, no, I would, awesome. I'll be we'll there throw in a few five minutes. minutes. Yeah. Do you have to eat butter before you. Remember that was a commercial years ago? No one knows what I'm talking about anymore. It's just sad. No, As long as you do. As long as you do. I'm going out through the air vents. Yeah. That's cool to Miss America. Yeah. And married yeah. to Miss America. Man. I know. It's a yeah. little overkill. We'll have to talk about that? that more next time. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, Thank thanks you. guys for coming. I Thank appreciate you. talking. Thank Mark Steinis, Bob Saget. <laughs> Good night, I've everybody. Never, we will see you uh, tomorrow. Never night. stopped you from talking. Uh, and oh. Wednesday, we have more, more McDonald's. Uh, Tune in for that, too. Thank you. Can we talk to this guy? Yeah. To see, uh, can we talk to him?